The next thing we're going to do on this portal is add our foundations and put the connections on that. So we're going to go to the structure tab and we want the isolated pad foundation by there. Um, currently, there's none loaded in. Would we like to? Yes, if we would like to load some in. So we now need to find the structural foundations folder. And we can now have a look at the different options available in this folder. And we're going to want not pile caps in this instance, but I just want a pad foundation. So that's going to be in here somewhere. There we go. A rectangular pad foundation, plain and simple. Open. And we've got the different sizes available. So I'll load in a couple of these sizes, but um, I'm only really going to be using the smaller one on this project. But as you can see, you can do that. And you could, of course, create your own, which I could show you how to do in a minute. All right. So let's then go to the ground floor view and we can drop those at that intersection by there. Um, it's not visible in this plan. No, we'll sort that out in a minute. And we'll just go over here and drop one in there as well. We'll look at that in 3D. And we can see we've now got those pad foundations by there. But let's have a little look at our foundation plan. And it's not visible there either. And that's not so convenient. So in the properties, we're just going to scroll down to the view range and edit the view range. And I'll leave all the top figures as they are, but the bottom one, the view depth, I'm just going to put as minus 1000 and say OK. And now we can see we can see our concrete pads, which is much better. So let's jump back to our 3D. We don't want the steelwork to just sort of be coming straight down like that. We want a base plate around that. So let's again go to our connection or well, highlight the steel highlight the foundation steel connection okay so we've created a physical connection between them and we can now choose the type of base plate that we want so i'll just put a standard base plate in okay and there we go now, let's just show you some of the options available on the editing of that base plate. So edit type, we could obviously duplicate. And then we've got the thickness of the plate, setting it out from the center, um, the plate dimensions. So as we can see from the center of the column at the moment is 250 in each direction, meaning that it's a 500 square base, base plate. The corners, we could actually fillet them or cut them or have them curved. So there's a few different options by there as well. And anchor holes and bolts, um, we can adjust the sizes and the grades of those. We could put washer plates in on the bolts if we wish. So again, there are a few different options there you could have a look through that make sure it meets your specification. OK, and then let's zip over and let's put one on these two as well. Let's just hold down the control, select both of them. Steel connection and base plate. And there we have it. So now we've added our pad foundations and the base plate connection.